ask for me, sir? I did. Come in. I called you in here because I'm assigning you a new partner. You'll be working with Special Agent Dylan Bow. All right. May I ask why, sir? Look, he's a great agent. It's just that sometimes he kind of will randomly go, oh, I think it might be aliens behind this. So I think that with your medical background and expertise, you might be able to provide a good counterpoint and balance to his uh, rather eccentric uh, approach to investigation. You could keep him on track and make sure that his investigations are grounded in science and not the supernatural. It sounds dumb, but okay, sir. I'll do it. Oh, and one more thing, Agent. Yes, sir? Iron that shirt. Okay, sir. Excuse me, are you Agent Bo? That's me. Who's asking? I'm Special Agent Grace Thanisu. I've been assigned as your new partner. Oh, I heard they might be getting me a new partner. Someone to keep me in line, I guess. Yes, well, I was hoping we could be a little bit more professional about that and try to keep the outlandish and spooky ideas to a minimum and just really focus on getting the job done, okay? Hey, as long as you don't get in the way of the truth, we'll get along just fine. Now, come on. Where are you going? We have a case, something pretty spooky. So, why do we take this case again? I think you'll figure it out once you take a look at the bodies. I'll take the one upstairs, you take the one on the second floor, and we'll meet back here. Got it. Hey, so what happened in there? Oh, it's, it's pretty gross in there. The victim seemed to have been mauled to death by some sort of wild animal. Oh. Also, I had a burrito for lunch, so I'd give it a minute. Okay. I don't know how the animal got in here, though. It, the opening doors and stuff. It must be pretty smart. I'll have to check and see if it was a full moon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I bet that's what he actually thinks happened. Thank you. The wounds look like animal attacks, but there are no signs of break-ins. I think it's human. What do you think? Well, it could be human. Or it could be an animal. Or... Maybe something in between. Please don't tell me you took this case because you think werewolves or something killed these people? Of course not. Uh, it's definitely some sort of humanoid creature, but I wouldn't classify it as a werewolf. Uh, where are you going now? I'll explain everything over a cup of coffee. I took this case because there's an old unsolved zip file from this same town involving multiple animal attacks. Why is that of interest to us? The bite marks on the victims were never identified to a specific animal, so I'm sure we'll find the same thing with our victims. Well, with enough damage to the tissue, it can be hard to identify the animal responsible. Yeah, but there's this creature that's existed in legends for generations. There's a Native American myth where this monster comes out to seek revenge on anyone who tries to harm the tribe. So you yourself admit that it's just a myth. The story may or may not be made up, but something very real killed these people, and I'm betting it's not human. Where is your evidence? We can't put Excuse this case- Excuse me, I'm um, sorry. Are you the two FBI agents investigating this case? Yes, who are you? Um, hi, my, my name's Mark. Mark, do you have any information you would like to share about the case? I, I think I do, but um, can we not do it here?
What is it you wanted to tell us? They threatened to fire me if I told anyone that I know. Who threatened you? The housing company. You work at the same place as the two victims? Yes, I do. I... I didn't agree with where they said they were going to put the new housing development. I thought it was unethical. Uh, why? Can you just tell us everything? Start from the beginning. Well, you see, the housing company is starting construction on a new housing development on a big plot of land. I did some research into this and I found out that the big plot of land actually used to be a Native American burial ground. Then what did you do? Well, I mean, I, I did a little digging and I found out that 30 years ago, a different housing company tried to start construction on that same plot of land. But it was stalled because several of the workers ended up dying. You're referring to the murders of 1993? Yeah, they were killed by some sort of animal. Uh, so the site was forgotten about until now. And you told your superiors about this? Yes, I did, of course. But um, they didn't want to hear it. They said not to tell anyone because it made the company look bad. That's when they threatened to fire you? Right. I mean, I had heard about the rumors of a creature hunting the enemies of the tribe, but I never believed them. Why would I? I mean, didn't believe them until last night. All right, thank you for your help. Do you think that I'm in danger? No, it was most likely just a random animal attack. Just in case, I'm gonna give you my card Call me if anything's out of the ordinary. Thank you. Thank you. It's very dangerous feeding into that man's paranoia, you know. Is it paranoia? Yeah. Dylan, that man was threatened by his company. It's very possible that he is the one that killed the other two employees as revenge. Not some mythical creature. Come on, if the more conventional ideas fail us, should we not turn to the more fantastic explanations? Just because we haven't come to conclusions yet doesn't mean we can throw science and reason out the window. Well then I guess we better go reach some conclusions. It was a total waste of time. We don't have any leads with this guy. I think we got a lot of good information from him. Hold on. Look at that. Maybe don't touch it. It's evidence. Business card. Oh no. Mark, okay? Hold on, just a little bit longer. Grace, get him out of here. We're gonna get you help. Keep applying pressure. Where are you going? I'll be fine. It's probably not a monster anyway, right? Okay, just stay with me. We're getting an input. Someone's on their way, okay? Come on. Come on. Keep, keep it tight there. Let's go.
Well, this wasn't helpful at all. Dylan, are you all right? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. You can't say the same for a monster, which conveniently limped off after I shot it. Conveniently limped off, right? Yeah, but I got it. Monster. Monster. But you got it. I did. Well done, partner. Thank you. Unfortunately, there was no usable evidence to confirm the existence of the human-like creature. Therefore, this particular zip file remains unexplained. However, the murders stopped immediately after I encountered the alleged creature. This would lead me to believe that this was the result of Agent Fanazu and I's efforts. Well, I want to believe.